here back with another Splinterlands video. Happy Friday, everyone. Uh, I just wanted to uh, a quick video to let you know something I've been doing over the past week or so, and that is accumulating vouchers. Um, you know, I started buying them up somewhere around 43, 44 cents. We've obviously seen a slight push higher. Um, and I'm going to continue adding to them, I think, uh, prior to the town hall on Tuesday. And in this video, I'm going to get into some of the reasons why. But before I do, I am Hawks21. I cover Splinterlands almost every single day. It is an amazing blockchain-based video game. Uh, and I think if you give it a chance, you'll love it as much as I do. So if you're new here, say hello. Uh, and if you like the content, it would be awesome if you could like and subscribe. Okay, so... As you can see, I've picked up a decent amount of vouchers. Um, you know, nothing too, too, too crazy, but I don't think I'm done adding yet. I just need some, I need to generate some more liquidity. And I think I'm going to put it into vouchers. And I just want to talk a little bit about why. And it's not like some crazy groundbreaking, I discovered something reason. In general, you guys know my card investment strategy, which is when cards run up in value, I like to sell them and then put those proceeds back into cards that have yet to run up in value or whose value I believe hasn't been, or less popular cards whose value I don't think has been recognized by the broader market. So it, I don't do that just for cards either, right? I, I, that's sort of a broad based investment strategy for myself, not even really around, uh, Splinterlands necessarily, but I do utilize it a lot in Splinterlands. And again, this is not, this is just my process. This is not financial advice. As you guys know, uh, you need to do your own research, but I think there are going to be, and they've basically said that there are going to be a lot of voucher catalysts in the very near future. Um, you know, just to name a few, the Rift Watchers pre-sale, depending on how good that promo card is. I, I don't think we'll see the same situation. You know, I, I think it's sort of fool me once type thing with the Chaos Legion pre-sale, you know, where people were spending $15 vouchers during that. It's not going to be that, but, you know, if, if the promo card's good and the economics make sense, people are going to accumulate vouchers to get that pre-sale card. Um, so that's one. We have the tower defense game, which they teased recently in the Discord. Um, that's going to require vouchers. We actually have a price. It, they said that they're going to be worth, quote unquote, $3 uh, for the tower defense game if you're buying assets in that realm. We also have the Splinterfest promo card, right? Um, you know, we don't know the full details around that, but it is going to go for sale. You don't have to go to Splinterfest to buy that card. If you do go, you your ticket is a $300 discount if you get the regular ticket and you're guaranteed one. But whichever ones aren't sold are going to be available uh, for other people to buy. And I think vouchers potentially could be involved. Um, you know, again, I don't know. I, this is part of my speculation. I just think they're going to continue working vouchers into most things they do. On top of that, I forget their names. We know that sometime in the future, right, they want to create voucher sinks. And one of the ways they're going to do it is I believe Bloodstones and Power Stones are going to be purchasable with vouchers. So, you know, that's creating some more steady demand. Now, you know, you could think back to when I talked about the tower defense, them being worth, and I said, quote unquote, $3. That's because we've seen some dynamics where vouchers, ha vouchers have been, quote unquote, worth something. Um, and that hasn't mean meant that vouchers moved to that price, right? Um, and I think there's actually a good reason for that. So the two things I'm talking about are, actually, I'm in the right spot. You come to PAX. Um, getting, you know, we're getting there. Almost, you know, only 140 and change left. Thousand uh, and change left. 
But, so right now you can use vouchers to buy packs, right? And you get 10% bonus packs for the 100 packs. You need 10 vouchers. But in order to be able to utilize vouchers, you have to spend $400 on this one thing, on these packs. Not everyone can do that, right? And what that creates is sort of sporadic demand, right? And obviously you can do the higher levels, right? Like 500, all of a sudden you're spending $2,000 to start using vouchers. You know, then this obviously, you're talking about $8,000 start using vouchers. But even here, right? When people do this or people do either of these things, it's a one-time thing, right? Like people go in, buy the vouchers they need, and buy these packs and then they have no further use for vouchers right vouchers are out of their mind um so it's first it's not demand from everyone right because not a lot of people are able to make these purchases and it's not consistent day over day demand right it's one-off events one-off times where people are interested in vouchers and it doesn't create like a stable proper you know demand structure for a marketplace the other one is node licenses right so we see this here where similar to what it sounds like for the tower defense vouchers give you three dollars off um, per license and you can use 500 so let's say, you know, right now, if you were to buy a license, you should 100% go buy 500 vouchers. But if you type in the 500, see, see how this price changes. You still need to put up 1500 USD. And if people can't, if not a lot of people can do the 100 packs at a time, far less people can do 1500 USD on top of, you know, this would be about $250 to accumulate these. Uh, again, if you are going to buy a node, 100% go pick up 500 vouchers. Um, it's way, way, way worth it. But this is another situation where, you know, someone might come in and buy two nodes. They buy their thousand vouchers then they have no more need for vouchers, right? It's just a one off purchase that again, not a lot of people can make. So that's part of the reason why, despite them quote unquote being worth something, they haven't ended up being close to worth that. And it's created opportunities for, you know, people who can take advantage of these big things to utilize cheap vouchers. That is not the game's intention with vouchers. Vouchers are, they are supposed to unlock cool things, right? But I don't believe it's supposed to be this structure of, you know, only people with countless assets are going to be using vouchers um, and so one of the things I'm particularly interested in is how they structure it with the tower defense game I think you could see a scenario where they're gonna want they're gonna want these tower defense assets to be accessible to everyone we don't we don't know how it's gonna be structured but they're I think this is their first venture right within the splinterland specific ecosystem right they're branching out a little bit um with the genesis league soccer but within the core splinterlands ecosystem this tower defense game is their first uh you know separate game branch out so they're gonna want to make this accessible to everyone so i'm not expecting it to be a situation like this where you know people aren't able to accumulate or buy packs for these assets and so I think you could see this create a steady demand for vouchers for some period of time. Now, I don't think they're going to get up to the $3 they're quote unquote worth, right? But if you get a bunch of people in the game able to buy packs and the tower defense game is fun and the tower defense game is rewarding, um, that's going to create a more steady demand for vouchers, which to me is one of the two big things, as I've mentioned, that I think that they're missing. Um, so yeah, actually, now that I think about it, it's a good little selling point. So I started buying them up about a week ago, right? And it just takes time to put, to record these and put videos out and 
you know, there's more time sensitive things that come up um, or things I need to talk about. So there's some slippage. But I actually, I, and I bet I missed some things from when I originally talked about it. Um, here, I'm here on my Discord. So don't be afraid to check that out. And then if we go down to, this is the members only section. If I go, where was it? It was card deals. Sorry, I'm doing this on the fly. I'll just search for vouchers. I don't want to scroll up. Yeah, we talk in this a lot. So if you become a member, uh, you unlock all of these channels where we talk about very specific things. Um, you know, and a lot of them are super value add. If I scroll up here, you'll see. Um, uh, let's just go to the vouchers first, actually. Before I lose my train of thought, I don't want to get too off topic. So if we come up here, you know, I started doing this on the 29th. Right here, this was my first initial message to them when I first thought about buying vouchers. So this was a couple days ago, right? Um, before the big move and pump up. Um, basically just saying, you know, I use this channel to let them know if there's any car deals, if there's any potential flips uh, that could make sense for them to pursue. But I also let them know sort of what I'm thinking and what I'm doing in live real time. So here I just said, uh, I'm gonna be buying some vouchers. And then we just talked about it. Um, you know, the Rift Watchers, Tower Defense game. I'm not making any specific price predictions, but um, you know, even here we were talking about I liquidate. I had some liquid SPS that I put into vouchers, right? So in for the short term, I was willing to get rid of, and I talked about it right here, right? The pros, lots of announcements. Most, if not all, will incorporate vouchers. Tower Defense, the soccer might include vouchers as well. Rift Watchers, Rift Watchers promo card, Splinterfest promo card. Um, so a lot of things. And then I didn't even talk about the some of the guild stuff being available in vouchers. Um, you know, and then I kind of talked about the cons. I Do I want to give up SPS, which is my long-term most desired asset? Um, you know, and it's been, as I said, it's been worth things before, but I'm hoping that this time will be different. And I think that this time will be different. And I talked about it here. So I'm hoping something announced in the next few weeks. Yeah, it's basically what I talked about in this video. Um, but if you wanted it, you know, five days ago or whatever it is, uh, it was in here. And if you're interested in getting access to sort of my live thoughts and, you know, my investment decision making process. Oh, here's a good. So when there's a flipping opportunity, right, I put in this little thing like this and let them know, hey, if you were to, I think there's an opportunity to buy at X price, sell at this price, here's the return you'd be looking at. I scale this all around. So, you know, there's ones here where if you don't have a ton of capital, so like there's a $20 one where you can return four bucks, it's pr even after the fees, right? That's 17 and a half percent, not bad for a flip. So all this stuff is in there. If you want access to this, come to my Discord, which the link is in the description and check out the join bird gang tag uh, or DM me and I'll talk to you about it for sure. Last thing I wanted to end on is the team is super intentional about stuff they put into the game and they're willing to take stuff out if it doesn't meet their vision or if they miscalculated. One example of that is the quest potions, right? If you guys weren't around for quest potions, they were a potion that you could buy, and I can't remember, I think it gave you five additional daily loot chests. So way back in the day of Splinterlands, your daily reward chests weren't determined by your, you know, how your focus points or anything. You would just get a water quest, and all you had to do was win five water matches, and you would get chests the number of chests you would get would be based on what league you were playing in at the time. The chests weren't even super tiered when I first started playing. It was solely just, you know, there wasn't really much of a quality difference. 
It was just you would get so much more chests if you were playing at the higher levels. But they introduced quest potions, and the idea was every single day, on top of your normally allocated chests for whatever league you were in, you could add, I think it was five to it. And it basically became like free money. Um, and I bought a ton of them before they took them out of the game. But basically they determined that, you know, we messed up on this. We, you know, this, we, we tested something out. It didn't work like we thought it was going to work. And they took it out of the game, right? Uh, vouchers is something that is very intentional and is going to have a purpose. And right now doesn't really have that big of a purpose. Um, and so that kind of comes full circle back to my, you know, putting stuff into largely ignored areas that I think one shouldn't be ignored and two have some upcoming catalysts and changes um, that could push the price higher. Well, yeah, so that's my thoughts. I just like to keep you updated on what I'm doing. I have accumulated vouchers. Um, this isn't going to be a long-term hold or anything. I'm hoping that there are some short-term things that push. Um, and I think there's going to be some short-term things that push vouchers higher. And if there is, I will certainly flip them into, you know, into some cards back in SPS, maybe even grab another land plot or two if it's going to sit around um, $150. We'll see. But yeah, I'm going to stop it there. Um, hope you guys are having a lovely Friday. If you enjoyed this content, it would be awesome if you could like and subscribe. Come check out my Discord. And if you're interested in becoming a member, it is an amazing way to show your support for the channel. All right. Have a great weekend. Uh, I will talk to you soon and see you around the game.